According to Montgomery Police, the shooting stemmed from a dispute between McWilliams, Darius Thomas, and Dobie. Montgomery detectives said that Darius Thomas was angry at Dobie because the rapper had refused to help him get into the club that night. Dobie was set to perform that night. Darius Thomas and McWilliams, however, were later able to get in the club and started throwing gang signs and yelling Southside and Four Way and estimates against the rapper. Magnus said during court's testimony, Southside and Four Way are local gangs. Darius Thomas and Dobie soon ended up face to face, and the rapper allegedly mushed Darius Thomas in the face. Darius Thomas then raised his arm to knock his hand away and the bottle went flying, according to the detectives. Magnus said witnesses told the police McWilliams still began shooting erratically across the crowd. While Darius Thomas began shooting from the stairs, fell to the base of the stairs and continued shooting from the floor. Centennial Hill Bar and Grill, formerly the Rose Supper Club, closed following the shooting. The Montgomery City Council didn't allow the bar to reopen. Shortly after the shooting, the two men was apprehended and arrested. The 29-year-old Thomas accepted a plea deal the second day of his trial after originally being charged with capital murder, two alternative capital murder charges, and several assault charges for those who were shot but survived the ordeal on December 28th, 2013 at the Centennial Hill Bar and Grill. In a phone call, Thomas' fiance, LaQuinta Stewart, maintained that Thomas only accepted responsibility for starting the shootout by arguing with Dobie, a Montgomery rapper on the rise who signed to T.I.'s Grand Hustle record label in 2012. According to the January 24th bond hearing, testimony from Montgomery Police Department Detective Andy Magnus. The shooting escalated from a dispute between Thomas and Dobie, as well as a separate dispute between Mick Williams and Dobie, involving a bag of money and jewelry. Stewart said Thomas didn't accept the guilty plea saying he shot and killed those people, but he accepted the fact that him arguing with Dobie led to the shooting to those innocent people. The girl Kim and Tim they were innocent. He pleaded out to give justice to those two people's parents. I do send my condolences to families that lost loved ones and to the victims who were shot and lived. It was a tragic situation. Thomas was also shot at Centennial Hill. The bullet going through his chest and out his side, she said. Thomas has been in jail since this whole ordeal since the arrest on January 2014th. Now, Stuart, 26, was four months pregnant at the time and now have five children with Thomas, two of them stepchildren. He's got a child he's never touched before. Stuart maintains that she's proud of Thomas for accepting the plea. And she, quote, said, I don't feel any type of way about him pleading guilty because he could have died in that club that night, she said. I thank the Lord for keeping him here for us. I'm just glad everything is over with. And I do thank the families for accepting his apology. They didn't have to do that, but it took a lot for them to do that. End quote. Thomas ended up giving a lengthy apology to the parents of the victims involved. But nevertheless, the state of Montgomery, Alabama, gave Mr. Darius Thomas a lengthy sentence of 85 years in prison for the said crime.